Thank you, Madam President. I would ask that, that 10 minutes uh, be divided between myself and the senior senator from Texas, Senator Cornyn. Is there objection? Without objection. Well, I'm sorry, is there objection? Thank you, Madam President. Not to object, I just wanted to <clears throat> excuse me, clarify and ask that if we might expand that to indicate the order in which I believe we've agreed on the floor after our two colleagues, uh, that uh, I would be uh, allowed to speak after uh, my two distinguished colleagues and then Senator Whitehouse and then Senator Coburn. Uh, will, the, will the Senator modify her request? Absolutely, I would modify my request to reflect what the, the senior senator from Michigan said. Is there objection? Without objection. Thank you. Um, th thank you, Madam President. Uh, I rise today. Uh, I think it's time for us to end this government shutdown. And here's where we are. I said on the floor twice last week and prior to that that I didn't think that the strategy of defunding Obamacare was a strategy that would be successful. And while I support repealing and replacing Obamacare because I've seen the negative impact in my own state of New Hampshire, uh, we've already seen that the government is shut down and yet the Obamacare exchanges have opened, showing already many of the problems that with those exchanges, with the computer system, what are called glitches, but are, are major flaws at this point. So where we find ourselves, it is time for both sides to come together and resolve this on behalf of the American people. I've seen in my home state of New Hampshire, not only what was discussed earlier on the floor today, let me just say that it's appalling that we have soldiers that have been killed in the line of duty and their families aren't receiving death benefits. Um, it's wrong, it's outrageous, we need to solve that right away. But we need to solve this overall government shutdown. In New Hampshire, we have private campgrounds that contract with the White Mountain National Forest that are being closed despite the fact that they actually bring revenue into the Treasury and run these privately and actually make money for the federal government. And I think the administration is uh, playing games with things like that and that they should open up those campgrounds. But ultimately, we have to get this government open. And I want to praise my colleague from Maine, Senator Collins, who came to the floor earlier today, the senior senator from Maine, uh, with an idea that she has drawn from other senators, uh, not only in this chamber, but in the House of Representatives, of a way that we could resolve this impasse. And that is taking something that we have already voted on in this chamber on the budget resolution. There was a, a vote in this chamber on the medical device tax repeal and that vote got on the budget resolution 79 to 20. We voted on a bipartisan basis that we should repeal this tax. I've been against this tax since I campaigned because in New Hampshire, the impact on our companies, we see that it's gonna increase healthcare costs. Companies like Smith's Medical, uh, companies like Coreflex, many companies in New Hampshire are negatively impacted by this tax and their workers are put in a difficult place when these companies can't expand or they have to reduce their workforce because of this onerous tax, which by the way is a tax on revenue, 2.3% tax on revenue, a tax on innovation and new ideas in healthcare rather than uh, a tax on profit. But ultimately we should repeal this tax, it's wrong. And so I wanna support uh, what my colleague from Maine came to the floor on today as something we should take up and discuss in this chamber. That is a repeal of the medical device tax with a pay for. A CR uh, proposed for a longer period of time. She's proposed six months within the Budget Control Act numbers and flexibility for the agencies to address the sequester in the way that is best and most sensible for the American people. So I wanna thank my colleague from Maine we can come together and resolve this, and I hope that members on the other side of the aisle that voted for the medical device tax repeal, that we can work together, along with members of the House of Representatives, that we can work this out, get the government open, and also address concerns that we have with Obamacare that is impacting an industry that's an important industry, the medical device industry, that provides innovation and important life-saving devices for people in this country. Thank you, Madam President. Madam 